Do you want to live a long, long time? Well, this man right here, Dan Butner, has traveled the world looking for the secrets to living a longer and healthier life. Good, good. So. Along the way, he met guitar playing Rafael Leon in Costa Rica. He is a hundred years old. Ushi Okashima in Okinawa, who is 104 and has a boyfriend 39 years her junior. <laughs> and in Sardinia, Giovanni Sanai, who at 103 is still a formidable arm wrestler. <laughs> Butner studied these centenarians, folks who are 100 years old or older, in towns and cities all over the globe, in places that he calls blue zones. When you look at blue zones, these spry centenarians never belonged to a gym. They never were on a, uh, any particular diet. Butner came away with four secrets that have helped these people not only survive, but thrive at the century mark. It's one thing to see longevity play out in an island in the middle of the Mediterranean or in Southeast Asia, but can you make it work with an American population? To find out if his secrets could help the average American, he brought them here to Albert Lee, Minnesota, a town chosen because it is, in a word, ordinary. We fit basically the national profile. We have a little more heart disease, a little less diabetes, and we have the life expectancy of 78 years. You said I can give you longer life. Could you feel the reaction to that? Yes. They gave me a standing ovation. So. <laughs> And then they and signed I hadn't up. even done anything yet. <laughs> Dan and his team set up a 10-month program called the AARP Blue Zones Vitality Project. The goal, to make changes in the city of Albert Lee, mirroring the secrets to longevity that he saw around the world. So what is secret number one in this program of longevity? Improve your environment so that activity is the easiest option. There's very good research that if you optimize the, the, the physical environment of the city, activity will go up by as much as 40%. So we convinced Albert Lee to connect their sidewalks. We first visited Albert Lee in July, where we found that new sidewalks were showing up all over town, which of course makes walking an easier option. And look at these kids. They are ditching rides to school in favor of the Blue Zones inspired walking school bus. Which brings us to Blue Zone secret number two, eat mostly plants and eat less. Not only a lifestyle change, but I just needed to. I, you know, I'm heavy, you know, overweight. Scott Schmelzer is publisher of the Albert Lee Tribune. Scott says the Vitality Project has helped him eat more vegetables and less food overall, breaking habits that had him putting on weight steadily since he left college. Next thing you know, you're looking in the mirror and you're like, wow, where did that other guy go, you know? Now there's two of them, you know. Now you're looking at like the Jonas Brothers and you're just one <laughs> person, you know, you're like. <laughs> and at one of Albert Lee's largest employers, manufacturing company Lou Rich. First Wednesday of the month is Donut Wednesday. It's been a tradition around here for a very long time. Um, now half of it is fruit and the fruit is the first to go. And I, I was shocked by that. I had this goal of 30 restaurants signing up and we got there. Kathy Purdy, one of the managers at Trails Truck Stop, helped convince other restaurants in town to offer smaller portion sizes and healthier options. Kathy helped us get uh, about 70% of all the restaurants in Albert Lee to make some changes to their menu and to the way they serve their food so that their patrons would naturally eat less. My name is Mora. Um, I've been in Albert Lee for seven years now. Mora Knoll is a Kenyan immigrant. She says that making friends here has been very difficult. Sometimes I felt so lonely. That brings us to secret number three. Socialize and volunteer with friends and family who have a positive influence on you. She's our spiritual captain. Yeah, absolutely. Mara joined what is called a Moai, based on a kind of group that exists in Okinawa. The Okinawans who have this um, notion of a social network they call Moai. And from a very early age, children are clustered in groups of five or six, and they travel through life together. The people in the walking Moais are just the nicest people. I have come to make good friends with them. So here's a real example of somebody who is lonely, and we know that loneliness kills, who via this project or via these ideas um, bloomed. In what way? How do you see that? Uh, the idea that she has a friend uh, 
showing up every morning or every other morning gets her out of the house and walking. So you're going to skate a little bit when we go down there? The Purdy's have a walking Moai of their own for their family. But it was a deeper change that has mostly resonated with them. You come to different points in time in your life and your passions change. And that is the fourth and final secret. Figure out what your purpose is in life so that you have an inspiring reason to get up every morning. We know that people have strong sense of purpose, live about seven years longer than people who don't. Now what kind of whole wheat spaghetti, seven grain spaghetti? While searching for their personal purpose after signing up for the project, Kathy and her husband Brian had an epiphany. Life happened and neither of us were able to finish our bachelor degree, so three weeks ago we started back in college and it's, it's so awesome. Does that surprise you? That that's a, that's Blows me a, away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's immensely satisfying too because these are positive changes to real people's lives, um, inspired by these ideas that work elsewhere around the world. Bit by bit, Butner saw this little city beginning to take on a new shape. Collectively, they put in over 2,500 hours of service volunteering, but in so doing, in taking the 75 million steps they took, they also created friendships that will outlast our time here in Albert Lee. We returned to Albert Lee two months later, toward the end of the project, to check in on everyone. Scott Schmelzer has seen some progress. I've lost uh, 32 pounds. When you're a super big guy like me, uh, you know, it's funny because you, you, get, you lose 32 pounds and people are like, did you get a haircut? You know, I mean, you can't tell super much, but I can tell in my clothes and things like that. Schmelter took the online vitality test that estimates life expectancy, and he says he has added six and a half years to his life. How's it going? Kathy yeah. Purdy was thrilled to show us the new menu at Trails Restaurant. We actually never offered fruit before. Blue Zones came to town. And so um, that's a new thing that we're offering. There's several other items that we are now offering in the half, half-size portions. Dan Butner thinks this is not just an Albert Lee thing and a lot of small personal stories. Now I'm beginning to feel more at home because I have personal friends that I relate to. And so it's kind of nice. He thinks this might just be the best answer yet to the whole health care crisis. What's the verdict? Well, um, the city manager will tell you that health care costs uh, for city workers has dropped by 49%. In how many months? In 10 months. That's astounding. That is astounding. Compared with other cities, uh, Albert Lee has had a much more dramatic drop than the other rural cities around there. We know that life expectancy uh, in a cross-section of about 1,000 Albert Leans has gone up about three years. But just how realistic is this promise of a longer life to the people of Albert Lee and to all of us? Are you promising the people in the city too much? I'm telling them that they'll be healthier if they, if they optimize their environment when it comes to how you eat and how you move and how you socialize and uh, your sense of purpose. That that stacks the deck in your favor for more good years of life. I'm John Donvan for Nightline.